Hey guys, Tropics here, and welcome back to another Destiny video here today on my channel. And in today's video, I will be showing you the Xur location and some recommendations on what to buy, what not to buy, and what not. So pretty much Xur is in the left side of the tower, the tower north, uh, which is exactly what it's called. And he's kind of in this like little circular kind of doorway position. And um, so yeah. Let's see what he's selling today. All right, so he's selling a heavy weapon in Graham. That's nothing special. That's 31 strange coin, guys. That's a lot of strange coins. You're going to have to grind a lot for that one if you didn't save up for the, um, you know, for the years that Destiny was boring. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I only have 43 strange coins, so I'm not going to be buying much. So Then we have the unsurmountable skill for, for the Titan class, an exotic helmet that costs 13 strange coins. Uh, you gain additional melee charge, gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness, um, and you get increased discipline, increased strength, heavy lifting, um, I already said that one, um, hands on, you gain super energy from minions of darkness, and then you gain bonus energy from grenades, and um, this one, this one's nice. When you melee, you uh, regenerate health. Apparently, um, I'm I don't have a titan, so unfortunately can't buy that. And then you have the young Akamara's spine uh, gauntlets for the hunter class. Um, I'm not gonna buy these just because, you know, I, I'd rather go for like a really nice helmet. That's what I've always done. Um, uh, you have fastball increases grenade throw distance, and then you have hand cannon loader increases the reload speed of hand cannons. Sniper rifle loader increases the reload speed of sniper rifles. Momentum transfer gain bonus energy on melee kills, and this one uh, you get a second grenade charge for the trip mine, and it increases grenade duration. But I don't use the gunslinger that much. That wouldn't be that help for hell of a helpful for me. And then you have the impossible machines gauntlets guys and uh, this is for the warlock it costs 13 strange coins um, and what this has is lightning rod this one's interesting unlocks a storm color subclass mode landfall for free on casting a storm trance fire a bolt of lightning into the ground creating a devastating shockwave under you this one seems so fucking badass that I'm definitely going to buy this one for my warlock you can increase the strength fusion rifle loader pulse rifle loader snap discharge uh, increased strength, discipline, uh, those those look pretty sick too, but I can't preview obviously because I'm a warlock. And then you have the exotic uh, helmet engram for 19 strange coins, and I'm actually going to end up buying two of these. Um, I'll show you guys what I get in a second, but um, I got bad luck on the first one, man. Um, then you have heavy ammo synthesis, if that's your thing, I guess buy that. Um, you don't have to spend all your glimmer. And then you can uh, trade in some strange coins. Two strange coins for one mode of light. I don't think that's worth it at all. I, I used to do it one time just to show you guys. Because um, I thought it was saying that you can trade in two modes of light for a strange coin. But that's not how it works. Apparently it's two strange coins for a mode of light. But um, yeah. Uh, then you have the three of coins. These are really interesting. What they pretty much do is uh, when you buy these it comes with five of them. When you consume one of these right before a boss battle. Or like when you defeat an ultra. It increases your chances of getting an exotic uh, ingram um, I tried this I, I bought 10 of them and none of it did not work guys I, I mean if this is your thing if you want to test your luck go ahead uh, I might make a video on these things but I, I wouldn't recommend it man um, this is pretty much it for uh, Zuri guys this is all he's selling he's selling some uh, um, what we call them sparrow telemetries and whatnot um, I don't really I don't really mess with those but uh, I'm actually about to buy an exotic engram right here. Um, all right, here we go. We're gonna go to the um, Cryptark bastard to uh, decrypt this shit. Hopefully, he gives us something good, but he, he he doesn't. I'm just gonna spoil it right here for you guys. He doesn't. Oh, it's terrible. He, don't you? Never mind, guys. Just just watch. Oh my god, this is so terrible. But I actually, um, it's not in this gameplay, but I actually end up buying another engram uh, when I stop recording. I was like, you know what? Might as well. Might as well. So I bought another one, and I got really lucky, guys. I got the Mask of the Third Man. But this one, as you can see, I got a fucking Warlock one. But I do have a Warlock, but he's only level 30, so I need to grind the hell out of my Warlock and uh, get him that exotic helmet. But, I mean, I guess it's not that bad, honestly, but... Um, 
yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe as i will be posting a lot of taken king content and i can't thank you guys enough for all the support you've given me on these past few videos it's been amazing i've been getting like 100 200 500 views on my videos and i really really just can't thank you guys enough i love all you guys and i will see you in the next video peace